Okay. So, kung napapanood niyo yung mga videos ko, um, I know I've posted a video uh, about what affects the sound of the violin and I have mentioned a couple of things, a couple of factors like the strings you use, the bridge, the size, um, sound post position, ano pa ba? Uh, yung mga basic stuff na nasa violin. Pero ang nakalimutan kong i-mention, I just want to thank um, Kuya Ralph Gulapa, uh, Emil Francisco, kasi um, it hit me na parang, oo oh, nga, I missed this information na kahit ako hindi ko alam and natutunan ko sa kanila. So for the longest time, I have been using this um, carbon fiber bow kasi sabi nila, kapag bibili ka daw ng bow mo, dapat one-third or 25% ng price ng violin mo ay presyo ng bow. So, me being so naive, nandun ako sa Libya, bumili ako ng violin, ng violin ko, say, sabihin natin na sa 100 pounds, 150 dollars, something like that. Naghanap ako ng bow na 50 dollars. Pero I went, for uh, I went shopping for a carbon fiber bow. Kasi yun na nakita kong meron yung kaibigan ko. Uh, little did I know na meron tong apekto sa sound and actually malak malaking epekto sa sound sa violin. So when I bought this violin, um, binili ko siya online and uh, sa Corillon, sa Corillon something, it's, it's a company in Germany na nagkakalik sila ng mga um, antique violins tapos um, meron silang mga audio sample. So Nagtry kasi ako mag-shop dito pero mas maganda yung offer na binigay sa akin kasi kung gusto mo mag-upgrade, you get the full price of the violin that you buy. Tapos, um, dadagdagan mo na lang dun sa bagong violin mo. Anyway, pinapakinggan ko yung sound na in-upload nila. Tapos, gusto gusto ko yung tulog niya. However, hindi ko ma-produce yung sound. So, nag-email ako sa kanila. Sabi ko, iba yata yung tunog ng G-string, medyo muddy. So, doon ko lang na-realize na, okay, baka una ako yung may problema, pangalwa, baka yung bow merong epekto dun sa sound. Um, so, noong nagtanong-tanong ako dun sa group, um, doon ko nalaman na, okay, merong epekto dun sa sound. So, I went for shopping for bows. Um, samahan niyo ako. Hi, um, I actually called you yesterday. Um, can I try some of your Pernambuco bows uh, for violin? Do you know which one? Um, no, but I was at, I was told there was a selection for of pay sold. Right. Okay. Pernam yeah. Okay, I'm try the bows. Thank you. 
Online, actually. I didn't get a chance yeah. to try it before. Oh, okay. Well, you did, you did quite well, didn't you? It sounds really nice. French. Mm. It's a French mm. Yeah. Um, I think I am leaning towards this one, but I don't know if it is within my budget. <laughs> <laughs> what is your budget? <laughs> Might not be enough. But hopefully, I'm hoping to get a decent bowl. Okay. That's the most expensive one. It is 680. 680. Yeah. So, ngayon na nakita niyo na napili ko na yung bow na gusto ko. Um, dahil very limited yung alam ko na skills or bowing techniques, I will be posting a video, a link of the video, kung saan ina explain nila yung different bowing techniques. Pero, paano ko ba explain? Siguro pinakamadaling way na explain ko yung mystery dun sa G-string kung bakit hindi magkaparehas yung sound na napupidus ko and yung sound na nasa audio file nila is ganito. Um, ang carbon fiber bow ay made of plastic. Na yun, isa, isa, sa, isa sa well known violin maker ay nagsabi na never, never ever use a carbon fiber bow in an acoustic violin. So, kung gagamitin mo siya sa electric violin, then it's okay. Pero dahil plastic kasi siya, um, nakita ko one way of testing a bow is, alam mo parang hahampas mo siya sa wrist and then feel the vibration. Ano yung ginagawa ng vibration na yun? So, imaginein mo, kapag nag-stroke ka ng string, ng ganyan, yung string, kung titignan mo siya sa close-up, nagwa-vibrate siya ng ganyan, di ba? So, being stiff, matibay siya ha. Um, gusto ko to kasi matibay siya yung, yung bigat niya gusto ko. The thing is, kapag inano mo na siya, kapag nag, uh, nag-bow ka na sa violin and then nagbabibrate na yung G-string ng ganito kalaki, um, pinipigilan ito kasi hindi siya nagbabibrate enough na magsisibing siya shock absorber and magbabibrate siya kasama ng, ng string. Samantalang kapag kumuha ka ng Pernambuco bow, um, matibay siya, tapos uh, maganda yung vibration niya dahil wood din siya. So kasama ng papag-vibrate ng string mo, um, ina-allow niya yung, yung movement ng string. So parang ganun, sana nagpalawano ka ng ayos. Pero ngayon na uh, ito yung gamit ko, mas full yung sound and syempre dahil parang tinatry din natin ma-improve yung bowing technique nagkaroon ng difference yung sound ng violin so sana pa nakatulong um, yun lang um, if you find yourself stuck na iniisip nyo bakit parang hindi maganda pa rin yung pagpaproduce ng tone na ginagawa mo naman lahat on your part you have your teacher then maybe you have to upgrade your bowl. Sana nakatulong and see you again next time.